Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, yesterday, we cleared out the American carrier groups, and we took Iceland. Um, there's not really much over here, but we could start constructing over here if we really wanted to. We could use it as a, a better base. Let's see. Let's put in some... Let's put it... Let's airbase it up and make sure it has some nice... Uh, naval, no, not naval dockyards, not nuclear reactors, uh, naval base. There we go. And what we're going to do, that's Leningrad. I'm going to bring those up to the top. Boom, boom, like that. I don't know, maybe they can uh, reach at least Canada. My, my bombers could reach Canada, probably. Do, 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 do. We finished Project 66. Uh, Project 611's coming. Uh, down the pipelines. There's not really not that much left to do. I, we could start working on some of this stuff, I guess. Um, like signal company. Let's go, let's do signal company. Actually, did sink some convoys over here. Just a, a few British ones. Surprise! There's well, I guess there's not a lot because they don't have anything overseas over here. There's nobody to trade with over here. So why would there be ships going over here? I guess. That's what we're gonna go with. This guy is just going to go walk in and take the rest of Iceland. The Series 14K class. Submarines have been finished. Get some other submarines going, though. We're just going to skip the Tier 3 and go straight to the Tier 4. You ever going to make it out there? You are a slowpoke. Terrain. It's minus 60% night, minus... So, Iceland's not a fun place to, to, to fight in, is what they're telling me. Okay, well, I'm just going to leave you be. You guys are going to go from here to... Do we want to take Greenland? Or do we want to skip it and just go over here? Newfoundland? Do we have any naval bases over here? Mm, there's two right here. So why don't we have them land, like, right here? That'll give us access to two naval bases. And we'll start getting that planned up. Uh, and what I plan on doing is taking as much land as I can quickly. And we, we could actually move units over here to get them... You know, you know, move some of my tanks over there or something like that. That'll get them to uh, America faster. What was I talking about? I don't remember. Moving people to Iceland as um, staging area. Oh, what I was talking about. New CV. Man, they really need to increase the uh, the name pool on ships. I've only got like six carriers and we ran out of names. That's a little pathetic. It's a little on the pathetic side. Now you are telling me you're done already? You're done planning? Your planning's already fit. That's weird. Do we have people assigned to this? No units assigned. That's why. See, I was, something was wrong there. There you go. What I plan on doing is taking one base, taking two bases, uh, moving down through it uh, into Maine, probably, and then we're going to have to start. Um, and then I think the enemy will, the Americans will actually have some some troops blocking the path. Uh, heavy tanks would be great to send on over. I would love that. That'd be pretty cool. And what I was thinking about doing is maybe making some, some well, I was thinking about making mechanized troops, but we really don't have that big. We have mechanized troops uh, attached to all of our, our armor divisions. We don't have a huge stockpile of mechanized vehicles. And they would be, I think, under basic equipment. AK-47. So the AK-47s are still getting disseminated. We still need hundreds of thousands of them. Uh, they're not, yeah. We're, they're, they're coming, but we, we're, they're, we don't have a single one that's actually up to efficiency. Uh, full efficiency yet. And, and the ones we have out there are mostly the older models, I think, right now. But that's that's still okay. Mm. 
You go there, and then you go there, and then we'll attach you to the thingy. And, I mean, 22 marine divisions, I feel, should be pretty goddamn strong. Pretty damn strong indeed. No more American ships have been spotted. Uh, so what we're going to do, these guys aren't doing anything, so we're going to take them off that. We're going to put them on uh, patrol here, here, here. That should do the trick. Still over here. We attacked a Chinese destroyer. I didn't know China had anything left. Basically just leaving Fran uh, France, Africa alone. I, I mixed up France and Africa. I've been recording for a long time today already. Give me a break. I tend to get a little loopy at times. If I if I if I spend too much time recording, I'll get a little loopy. Uh, definitely gonna nuke the ever loving shit out of America. America is gonna turn into a nuclear wasteland. And these ships are just flying off the production lines. Oh, you know what we didn't do? Pause. Uh, production. Let's go to not screens, but capitals. See heavy cruiser, um, boom, boom, and then we are going to add in Project Sixty Six. We're gonna add on Project Sixty Six, and then you're also gonna go to Brittany. So that'll start making the Tier Four heavy cruisers as soon as these ones are done. I mean, we already started building them, so no point in telling them to stop at the moment. I mean, wait, nine days was not a big deal for, like, a destroyer or something like that. But I'm not going to waste a significant portion of a heavy cruiser. Still got planes flying around. Not, not that there's anybody over here. Can we actually see the, the, the totals at the English Channel? Oh, let's see. We lost... Is that really all of it? 9,300 fighters... 2,000 bombers. Um, they lost 10,500 fighters, about 6,800 bombers, and 6,200 support planes. Okay. We did get an airbase built over here. I wonder if the strategic bombers can make it over there. This should be pretty easy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send these guys out as soon as they're gone. Well, you know, we should probably move some tanks over first. Let's see. We can tank some tanks. Move them over here. And then we'll we'll jump from there to there. We are getting... We're going to put... We're, we're going to dump heavy tanks right into the field. And look at that. They're using... You know... Hundreds. Uh, each tank division has 200 IS-3 Mark IIs in it. Modern as modern can be. They're fast, too. For heavy tanks, they're goddamn fast. Got some infantry and armored support uh, with them, too. They all have a uh, combat width of 20. Everybody has a combat width of 20. Can I add this guy on... To this attack without it causing too much too much disruption it looks like it so 50 days so we got a, f a little bit more time before we could do it uh, as long as it doesn't say north atlantic eastern seaboard what okay i don't get this i don't get this why do you need what why are these two random naval zones sea zones why do those need to be covered? It doesn't make any sense. You're not going through those. And you can't say it's because they're adjacent, because this one's adjacent, and this one's adjacent, and this one's adjacent, and they don't care about those. That doesn't make any goddamn sense. All right, so here, let's do this. You do those. Where's my other fleet? My big fleet. Uh, why do I have so many fleets?
Thought I had like three. Oh, there's some out. Um, coast of, oh, submarines, coast of Japan, southern France. Got a carrier and a tier four light cruiser down here? Huh. Okay, well, those are getting moved up. Northwest, Northwest Germany. All right, you move over here too. Denmark straight. You move over here. Oh, that was that was this guy. Now who are you? Oh, that was the that was that's the other fleet. That's the one I was thinking of. Okay, I'm confusing myself with my own navy. Hmm. So let's wait for those ships to get together. If and let's see. That's the that's the that's the super good fleet. Central military. So I, I didn't think I had anybody assigned to go be down there. Oh, oh you know, you guys got to they had to go all the way around too. So fuck you. So let's start this merge. Merge. Alrighty. And then you're going to go um, patrol here and here. That should do the trick. That's all the ones that it said needed to be taken care of. Alright, yeah, that's it. Okay, I don't understand why it, it tells you you need to have intel on sea zones that you're not going through. Oh, we ran out of political power. Nationalist China. What were we doing in Nationalist China? And they're still a thing? It's kind of, where's, where's Nationalist? How, how would I find them? Diplomacy? Mm. Man, the U.S. has almost lost as many men as me. Well, up by about a million. Should be able to find them in here. Or not. Can't click on them. Okay. Well, without... Well, uh, well, I should be able to go like this, and then it'll say national, owned by Nationalist China. Cancel boosting popularity. Yeah, I didn't even know I was doing that. Stage coup in Peru, boosting ideology Mexican opposition. So we can cancel that. It's not getting us anywhere. Cancel that. What does that put us at? Minus 0.17. So most of it's just occupation. Also, we're doing some stuff in Peru. So we get those tanks over there? We did. Are you ever going to make it back? You should. Alrighty. So, we're gonna start our invasion of America. Fuck yeah. What, you didn't make it back. Thought you were there. Almost there. We're gonna have to transfer lots of planes over as soon as we capture some air bases. Seven, okay, six more days, and another week. Another week and we'll try. I don't necessarily think America is gonna be too terribly difficult. But we'll see. Never actually tried it from up here. I've always come in from the south. I've always come in through Mexico. Oh, perfect timing. Marines 3. What's going on over here? Probably some just transports or something. 1960. No, not, not anywhere close on there. I guess we could start doing some rocket-based stuff if we feel like it. We need something to do. Can I add them into, like, mechanized divisions for poops and giggles? Execute. Execute Executive Order 66. And there they go. It's gonna take them a little... 
It's gonna take a little bit of doing to get over there. They shouldn't be intercepted at all. Um, maybe uh, airplanes could intercept them, I guess. But we'll see. Zooming along as fast as the little transports will go. I don't actually know what the speed is. I don't know if I could find it anywhere because the ships don't... They don't actually have, like, information toggled to them. We'll see. There's two ports there. Hopefully at least one of them's a decent decent size. There's another one right there, too. And as soon as I take them, I'm going to start constructing. Tell my, uh, my... My engineers to start building bigger air bases and, well, start building air bases, period. I mean, any Brits that come out, we should immediately pounce on. There's just very large amounts of ships in the region. Hundreds. What we can also do is get these guys moving down this way. What? You, you fucking kidding me? How do I tell them to get on the ships? I was gonna say, get on the ships and like, wait, like right here. Apparently that's not a thing you can do. All right, that's, that's odd. Here come the Marines. I was gonna have, you know, like waiting offshore, or at least on the way. Alrighty, so let's take one guy and go over here. We'll take one guy and go down here. We'll take the other ones and we'll go over here. And then, well, as soon as we capture one of these bases, We'll be able to send in the heavy tanks. I saw some units. I did see some units. Somebody's there. That is a slow... What, why, why is the speed so slow? What kind of terrain is this? Forest? Maybe it's because we're running through forests. So, <laughs> Americans are still not happy with... Uh, With Japan. Who know well Japan is Axis right now. Oh, there is an airbase there, that's good. So this naval base is in this province. I think it is. So we'll do this. Oh really? Alright, so let's do it like this. Uh, let's, let's fight in half, and fl and we'll do that. We'll do it that way. I'm excited for that airbase. Hopefully it's at least a halfway decent one. The movement speed is painfully slow. This is on speed 5. Look at them crawling around. So the Americans are sitting here going, eh, we're not really that concerned. Come on, just march in. It's not that hard. Nobody there. Let me see what level base this is. In Halifax. Alright, we got a level 3 air base. And a level 4 naval base. So, what we're gonna do, first things first, is we're gonna go uh, air base, beep. We're gonna go naval base, beep. Yeah, why not? Build a bunch of them. Make sure those supplies can get in. Uh, then we go here. We were in the right spot. Uh, there. Scroll down. Uh, up to the top. 600 planes. I'm thinking... Tactile Bombers? Can't set the lit lower than the number of airplanes. What? All right, we'll do it like that. Okay. All right, get those fighters over there, or those bombers over there. The ta new tactical bombers, best ones we have. So I'm, I'm thinking hitting these guys from two sides will do the trick here. Oh, you know what we forgot to do too? Uh, where are my IS-3s? 
Boom, this army. Sitting here with their low supply. And their attrition. Get them over here. Uh, by the time they get over here, I think we'll have another another base that we can build from. And we're, I mean, we're building several bases right now, as is. Oh, you know what we forgot to do is actually set these guys, Eastern Canada, close air support. Uh, see the... Okay. Oh, they can actually hit... All, they can reach all of Eastern Canada? Wow, range on those guys. Brits lost a couple convoys. Or the Canadians, my bad. And you can now be assigned to this. Oh, wow, we're really, uh... No, it looks like we're turning that around. Should we have air superiority now? Yeah. Really? Only 10%? Thought that would be a bit much bigger hit. But that's a naval base, which is what we need. Alright, got the naval base. Which is a level 2. So now we'll go... Naval base. Or not that. Naval base. Air base. No. Maybe not. Build a rocket site here and start hitting the east. Nah. Not 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 important. Uh do 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 construction. We're on the eastern seaboard. Get that stuff going. Hit those Amer American Marines versus Russian Marines. You guys move over here, please. Uh, the bombers are out and about. God, I hope they don't make um, model packs and charge $8 a piece for them. Considering they, they <laughs> $8 for the, the plant model pack for Stellaris. Blah. I love Paradox. I really do. But their DLC... Their, their DLC... Uh, 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 you know, methodology... This has been rubbing me the wrong way the last, like, year and a half. Let's see, build those. Guess we're going to need to go to you. Scoot, 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 scoot. Add it on. There we go. Tanks are coming in. Got, like, this the corniest made-for-TV sci-fi movie on in the background right now. It's basically like Starship Troopers. It's exactly like Starship Troopers, actually. Only, you know, like, super low budget. I love Starship Troopers, too. That's a damn fine movie. Starship Troopers is one of my favorite movies. Not just because it's solid gore. I don't really do gore just for the... I don't really do gore just for gore's sake. I like the, um, the overly obvious propaganda. I love it. Just trying to manually these a little bit. Where are my tanks? They coming? Yeah, they're coming. Alrighty. And let's see, it shouldn't take super long to build this stuff. Uh, like, uh, Nova Scotia has already got uh, a higher level air base coming and higher level naval bases. So let's just make sure all of you guys are properly assigned to this front. We're going to give them an offensive line to get into Maine. And like that. So that they'll actually form a line and have a plan started. They should be perfectly fine. Americans are starting to bring in more troops. Basically just going to really cram a lot of troops in here. Uh, we can up the size of this if we wanted to, to a thousand. Set limit, there we go. That'll bring in more. I don't know if we have a thousand, I think six, no we do have a thousand. Uh, I'm, I'm wondering if they used some of the older ones. Well actually mostly the new ones, but some of the older ones as well. The Illusion 28s. Ah, look at that. Hello. Uh, 
Hello, IS3s. IS3s are going to move up to the front lines, too. We can get easily get the supplies in here, it looks like. Uh, something else we could do is make sure the infrastructure is maxed out as well. Bring that up to the top. Super easy to construct stuff like this, you know, like on the fly. Not, not nearly as easy in... Well, there was one thing you could do in... And Hearts of Vanilla Hearts of Iron 3, and that was to uh, build a bunch of air bases and naval bases. And then as you took areas, you just go like naval base one, 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 naval base one. Naval base one. Um, and they would, you know, they take like a month or something like that to actually, you know, because they spawn in as completely destroyed. Um, so it takes them a little while to uh, disseminate out, you know, you know, disseminate the materials out and whatnot. But... It was, a, it was a valid strategy, because every single one would bring in a little bit of supplies. Alright, so we got ourselves a foothold. Easy foothold, too. Let's, uh, manually, let's manual this a little bit. Get ourselves some better positions. Now, with the, na the appropriate naval bases, uh, with the infrastructure building up, I don't think there's going to be any supply issues here. But why don't we take a look at what... We do have a lot of tanks stacked up. Should be okay, though. Radar installation's almost built already. Got it. We actually got the uh, new naval bases up. Air base is level... 6. Project 611. New submarines. We could actually just tell stuff, be able to start working on stuff that's far ahead of time. Not that we need it. 1957, that's only five years ahead. Or rocket stuff, I guess. Why not? Why not? It's taking these IS-3s a while to get into position because of the rough terrain. Um, wow, a month to get to the front. That's how slow they're going. Is it because of fuel? Supply status 95%. No. It's, it's gotta be the, just the train. Right, here we go. Division speed minus 25% organization. Well, minus 25% It's not that bad. See if we can actually get these guys. Uh, you are this army. If we tell you to to move out, would you actually be able to move out? A little bit. Oh shit! Stop that. Is threes are moving to the front though, so that'll stabilize things nice and easy. Like, how's the planes doing here? They have, there's n nobody's nobody's stopping them. Air base has insufficient insufficient supply minus a thousand percent or a hundred percent. Mission efficiency. So the planes aren't flying. So we've got more naval bases up. Local infrastructure. So it's the infrastructure. American Cavalry, sons of bitches. When are my IS-3s going to get into combat? Anytime soon. Come on, go faster. Faster! You go on, 12 kilometers per hour. Faster, well, they're almost there. <laughs> it's st still the KV model, um, 3D model, that's cute. Eh, just in time, it looks like. Ish. Just in time ish. There you go. Yeah, that's what I thought. Eat a bag of armored dicks. Guess we could do radar. It's 
So these guys aren't flying. Because the uh, they're not getting supplies in here. Uh, when does the first level of infrastructure pop off? It's only 16% done. Do we build it? Do we actually get a level up already? Yeah, those tanks are pretty effective. Signal company, those could be effective on uh, some of my like breakthrough units. Tanks are at the front. That's good. I don't think the Americans are going to be able to stand up to the power of the Russian heavy tanks. I think they're just too strong. All right, now when did it say those were going to finish up? March 10th? It's a little ways off. Maybe we just crammed too many people in here. It doesn't look that... I mean, like, now that they're at the front, they look fine. One Amer one tank division. Well, their organization was really low. Okay, I can't, I, I can't uh, blame blame them for uh, capitulating there so easily. Their organization was just really low before that happened. So yeah, it's great that we have the air base here, but we don't have the supplies. But we're working on it. Okay, everybody, we're gonna leave this right here. If you have enjoyed it, please just drop me a like, leaving those comments right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays Hearts of Iron Four, just subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>